So I will instantly um, add a second because, uh, well, <laughs> once you get started and then I get a little annoyed about myself why I explained uh, things so badly and I, I, I still think there's uh, something about it, about the first one. Check this example. I mean, I, I put in here, I made a mistake actually with, with Elversberg because I, I looked at the at the price from, what's that, uh, Stuttgarter Kickers and uh, entered 145. This was one, one uh, mistake I made here. Uh, I could even search for this here and prove this is 150. Most likely you spotted it. So this makes a small difference actually here. In the return, you get 8.97 instead of 8.67 that it had been before. Anyway, it does not make much of a difference. Uh, what I forgot to add in the, in the first one was um, that the the chance for um, mines to win is 23.86 um, or 1 divided by 23.86, so somewhere around 4%. This is about what, what is required here, or what is about the probability for all those favorites to win. So this is about the same chance, eight heavy favorites, or one huge outsider, let's call him. Um, and it's about the same chance, but you get 22.5 times your money if you go for mines. And you get 8.97 times your money if you choose all those outsiders. And this is what, what all those um, betting offices in the 80s, when, when I started, or in the, in the 90s, and, and what they made use of. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, I attended some. I, 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 I got to know plenty of them, because I, I, was, I was traveling through Austria, and I, I met them all. I talked to them, and, and I was in, in touch with, with lots of them. But, but this whole um, business is somehow vanished, or you know, I don't care so much about them anymore. And, um, but we had some, some uh, cooperation at some point when I compiled prices and stuff. Anyway, uh, I knew them, and, and I wasn't even sure if they, if they knew uh, why they would make, make so much winnings. They simply compiled their prices, I'm not even sure that, that they were aware of the mathematics uh, behind that, that the, uh, the combined chance of independent occurrences is uh, you can multiply the probabilities and you, you have to multiply the prices or this was what, what, um, what um, the punters uh, could obviously profit from because you, you get a good price out of plenty of, I mean you can get nine times your money on, on, on occurrences that seem to be pretty likely, all of them. So, and, and that is what, why people uh, somehow um, signed for that. I mean, they, 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 they went for it. They, they still do it. I mean, every day I, I could, uh, sometimes I, I go into the betting shop here and, and uh, just meeting some people and, and talking. I'm, I'm not betting there at all. But, um, but then I see they, they usually uh, combine uh, still those those heavy favorites and um, yeah it's it's some of uh, what people tend to do this is what I wanted to point out but one more thing I mean that those people made some money and you didn't have the impression those betting offices they made some money and you sometimes had the impression they didn't really know why this was working I mean, they, they knew there was a betting market, this star came over from, from England and, and they all offered their prices and they offered the, the prices the same way, they applied the same rules uh, and at some point you had to combine uh, the bets, which is, which is long gone, but um, you, you only could do combination bets. The first bookmaker I was betting with was, was SSP Overseas Betting in 1983, so this is why it's 34 years. And um, I got to know them later, and they invited me and, and stuff. But a little later, they, they, they went bankrupt, so it didn't work the whole business. Uh, for them, I don't know, but, but this was SSP Overseas Betting. And you could, um, and you, I had to send those, uh, I had to write real letters, but, but they, they sent out the, a week before the, 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 the games were on, 
they they sent out their coupons and you had to tick the, the, the bets you wanted to make and you had to fill in everything and send it back and then you could do a phone call and ask whether your, your letter did arrive and that the bet had been accepted. But uh, it was, a, was a, uh, a bit weird business to, to look back now, but uh, this was the way it went. And um, uh, but um, what I, um, the, the, the business, uh, they, they, they came over here from, from England, where you can say long tradition and most likely some mathematicians behind that, that, that knew and understood their business and I also got to know a couple of them uh, from Ladbrokes, uh, Gibraltar especially, where they invited me as well and where I had a long long term um, uh, yeah, agreement uh, when, when we, yeah, just cooperation let's call it, and um, I was, I, I met, I got to know some of those uh, Bad com uh, um, odds compilers, and they they were simply good. I mean, I can't say anything. I mean, I did my compilation compilation with a computer, and I, I I talked to someone, and he did it somehow on paper and stuff. But he, but he worked out the same thing, so uh, he was good. But um, that, that that was that was old tradition from England. So the people here in Austria, where it started, this was before uh, yeah European um, market. Uh, opened and thing, but in Austria, so it was legal, and it wasn't in, in, in Germany, and there was still in the 80s there was still uh, uh, East and West Germany and things like that. It's getting dark again. I mean, I, I started the video yesterday, and right when I was sitting here, um, uh, the lights went out, and this is the case again. No, I don't want to bore anyone here. So this is the lights we got. Uh, anyway, um, so what more do I want to say about this? Combination of bets does give the betting office the bigger advantage. This is uh, this is the, the 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 common issue. This is the you know this is the main issue. I was trying uh, with, the, with the first video, which may not uh, have been pointed out so well. So I, I'm, I'm, this is why I'm, why I'm adding the second one, uh, especially. And um, uh, why this is a mathematical reason? I said if you if you make a single bet on on this one, I mean you can't lose that much. I mean Eversberg, this is pretty close. So if you say I'm, I'm gonna go for Eversberg, and um, I, I will mm, pr probably make some simulations about how much you lose, but you can also, yeah, well, well how could I show this now? But you're, you're not losing a lot of money on that uh, in, in, in the long run, right? This small percentage you lose. But, I mean, if you still lose, this is my, my figure, so it could be uh, 1.55 uh, as well, or the true price could be 1.45, so you would have an example, uh, an advantage. But, um, uh, the, the, the combination of the bets is what makes it bad and this is what the betting offices profited from. So this is um, uh, what you in some sense have to avoid or can also exploit on the other side, on the other hand or on the other side, I mean if, you, if you're having good bets. But what I try to show here now, if you have a 5% disadvantage on a couple of bets, a bit irritated because some... some um, um, you can hear that that some some Facebook's requests might come in because it's 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 now it's it's starting to um, yeah maybe maybe it's starting to to run or work out well or I don't know <laughs> to explain uh, or to express it so uh, this is the the. Um, mm, this is the multiplication of, I mean, if you have a bet of, you get 95% return of your money. I mean, you're losing 5% in the long run with a single bet. I mean, you don't want to do that and you shouldn't do that. I mean, uh, stay away from those bad bets. But if you do so, you lose 5% in the long run, which is not a lot. I mean, I can say, I mean, yeah, okay, you shouldn't do it, but you lose 5%. If you do it in a combination and you continuously do it in combination bets, you're gonna lose 34% because you just get 
uh, you just get 66% back, back. This is, I mean, it's a small disadvantage. I mean, up here it's, it, it's a, a lot more because there's a, there's a bigger gap. But this is not what, what is important about it. You lose a lot more if you combine bad bets. On the other hand, and this is what, 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 what my business had been about, I could say, uh, but, but this is long gone I, uh, either, so I can also um, reveal it or I can, uh, I can, I can conceal what would that be, I mean, I don't know. But, um, I mean, no one, um, I can confess it or I can admit it or I can, yeah, I can uh, um, uh, reveal my, my secrets, I can, what is it, I don't know. Anyway, I can, um, yeah, you, you can't, well, you can still make use of it, but, but it would be really hard this day, these days betting market to, to find uh, good bets like these and um, at least it was what, what happened uh, in, in, in my bets and uh, of course I had been aware of that because I had been study, uh, studying uh, mathematics and uh, I was very much into, into uh, probabilities and stuff like that but this is not a, not a difficult task many people knew about that but well I'm not sure and then some of those I'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm um, Founder, I don't know. Uh, I, I, there, there, there was a better word that just um, slipped through. Um, anyway, if you have three percent advantage on your bets on average, or every single bet, you get one and three percent return on on a single bet, and you make an eight uh, combination bet, uh, you get one hundred twenty-seven percent instead of one hundred three percent. So it, it's a uh, a much bigger profit you make. You just exploit it the other way around because the bookies are making their money by having good bets on their side and they're making a lot bigger money. I was surprised, okay, I, I get back to that story quickly and then I, I, I'll finish this one. Um, uh, that, I, that I was invited into some kind of conference or about where, where all those bookies met and, and they noticed that it, that it was getting more difficult to make money and, and uh, somehow they, they tried to find an agreement uh, between them that they don't want to uh, have uh, their prices too far apart. So they tried to agree on certain prices. So you can have 220, I have 230, but not one has 2.0 and the other one 260 because Pandas used to exploit that as well. It's a different story, not any not uh, into this video, but um, they were. I, I was surprised when I heard about 30 or 40 percent winnings they made because their, their prices weren't compiled like that. But of course, I didn't knew or I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't understand at that point the, the punter's behavior so well. But this was obviously due to, and, and they even talked about more they, they used to have, so like 60 percent. And this was very much down to. This effect I was showing here, up here, when you get when they pay nine times instead of twenty three point three times they have to pay, they still pay at some point. I mean, they, the people still are winning, and that's why uh, what them, what keeps them doing it. Uh, but at some point, and they hope for a good run or whatever, or they remember one good day and that what, uh, or they try to win their money back. I mean, it's 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 uh, hard to explain those. Hunters losing their money, but um, um, of course you can say, well, they entertain themselves, but usually they do not have uh, this much money, so because they are not making much. Anyway, it's it's a different story. Uh, this is what uh, much more. Those sixty percent are about what you can see here. What what their winnings used to be based on, because people come there and combine ten games, twelve games. And all of them heavy favorites. And, and this is uh, what I wanted to point out. If you're on the other, other side, as has been shown here, you, 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 you increase your profits. And this is what I was trying to do. But there are much, much more stories like that. And maybe you enjoyed it. Hope you come back. Thanks. Bye.